Hello, this is Dr. Martini, your online sex therapist and sex educator. Transparency while you're dating. This is what I want to talk about today. And this is for everyone. Everyone that wants to make some kind of a connection with another human being. We're living in a speedy world and our nervous system feels that. So what do we want to do? We respond like we want to control things because we really, we sure, surely cannot be ourselves. So, um, William James, William James wrote, wrote about this 150 years ago. He said, he described that the suffering of our contemporary society is, um, is going around in a ceaseless frenzy of thinking and feeling that we always should be doing something else. Now that was 150 years ago and it looks like, you know, we're still doing the same thing. We can't be ourselves out of fear of not being loved, out of fear of missing out. So we have to pretend and show someone that we really are not and we don't get to be ourselves. And this became very apparent to myself this weekend. I got to be around a lot of people that were happy to be there. We were celebrating Gay Pride in Honolulu. And it was just in a wonderful, um, festive area. And um, I caught myself, I wanted to connect with somebody. I wanted to connect with somebody. I wanted to connect with an object of my desire. And I caught myself in that frenzy of thinking what I should be doing, what I should be saying, where I should be going, so all of these things that I wanted to happen can happen. And I totally overmanaged my thoughts, I've overmanaged my words, uh, my thinking, and it was exhausting. And I've realized, well, this is, you know, I really don't want to do this because I realized I was in this trance of of being somebody that I'm not. And um, so I stopped. I caught myself. I took a deep breath. I paused, and there were many moments. It wasn't just one moment. I paused, and I just realized that I said, okay, just, you know, let it come to you, you know? And if, first I had to become transparent with myself. And I said, you know, why am I so nervous? Why am I this? And why am I worried about going to the wrong place and missing out over there, missing out over here? Um, and I've realized that it was just my, my own insecurity of not being enough, not saying the right thing, not doing the right thing. And once I caught that, I just confessed myself to, my, to, to these true emotions, emotions of my insecurity, of lack of contact, of emotions of really wanting to connect, having a strong desire to connect with somebody. And once I did that, there was all this space. There was this space just popping up and was presenting to me like, wow, you know, if I can just get into the back seat and just be versus do, you know, things will happen and we'll see. Let's go see what will happen. So I let myself go to places where I wouldn't have before and stepped into environments where I would have not done because I was alone at that time. So it was it was an amazing it was an amazing experience to really find that peace that we get and in, within that peace having access to a very intelligent heart and open heart. And then I did meet somebody and it came up again. The covering up became again, I caught myself, you know, really saying things that I maybe didn't even believe or I was just not me. So, but because I just did that the night before, I realized, I said, wow, just do what you did before, pause and think about it and just pause and figure out what it is that you got and then confess. So I did. I confessed that I was a fish out of water, that I feel really rusty, that I feel uncomfortable, but I'm very happy to be in the company of this person. But, um, you know, then I have all these, these little emotions going on that are 
a parent to me I want them to be a parent I want them to be out there so I can be myself and it also gave her the chance to do the same thing with her and and then we were fine we were connecting on a completely different level with more openness with an intelligent heart and with uh, a desire to be just just to be and not do so transparency is something that is important when we do a human connection. If it is a connection with somebody that we want to connect for the night or for you know a meal or connect with a friend, you know, if there's things going on, don't cover them up, you know. Be transparent and manage them, you know. Manage that transparency if you want to do it by yourself or if you want to do it in front of the other person, it is really up to you, but as long as you just start being instead of doing.